And so for Bobby Joe Long, his murder uh, spree, I guess you could say, did not end there. He also murdered Chanel Williams and Karen Dinsfriend. Although just 18 years old, Chanel Williams worked as a prostitute in Tampa sometime on the night of Sunday, September 30th, 1984. Chanel and another prostitute were working Nebraska Avenue when a John approached Chanel and her friend. At some point, Chanel and her fellow prostitute split up while Chanel walking back to a nearby hotel in order to check on a friend. Uh, Sunday, October 14, 1984, Chanel's new body was discovered near the county line between Pasco and Hillsborough counties. A bootlace had been used to bind Chanel's hands. The autopsy report found that Chanel had been raped and shot in the neck. Long would later admit that this deviation of his M.O. was due to Chanel's pluck and her athleticism. On that terrible Sunday when Chanel Williams' body was found, 28-year-old cocaine addict and prostitute Beth Dinsfriend uh, was busy looking for Johns along Nebraska Avenue and Hillsboro Avenue. Bobby Joe Long must have found her on one of these streets, and Dinsfriend's new body was found later that day along a dirt road in the northeastern Hillsborough County. Dinsfriend had been beaten, raped, strangled to death before being wrapped in a gold beach blanket bound with a blue jogging suit. At the crime scene in the Chanel Williams crime scene, police found brown pubic hairs along with a Caucasian male that belonged to a Caucasian male. They also found semen samples indicating A and H blood substances. <laughs> 